What's up guys? Doing a little intro this morning. I'm trying to rush it. I have a four hour drive to South Dakota. I want to get there somewhat early in the day. So I need to hurry up. I'm not doing the in the the uh routine. Get ready, get on the road. You guys will see me driving to South Dakota. Alright, let's go. I'm not even kidding. This made my jaw drop when I got out of the car. Okay, that's one of the most beautiful sunrises I've ever seen before. <laughs> so you guys might be wondering why I'm in such a rush. It's because I have, I think, four or five places picked out to go to in South Dakota. I have four hours to get there. I guess I don't need to be in that much of a rush, but I want to see at least two or three things on my list today. Getting gas, let's fuel up, get ready to go on the road, and my first time in South Dakota. All right, now for the only reason that this drive is like an hour or two longer than what it should be. Now, I'm driving through my 35th state. All right, now let's get back on the road. <laughs> Long drive ahead of us. Alright guys, after a very long, long drive, I'm in South Dakota, and this is also my 36th state. Still 14 more to go. South Dakota is actually pretty beautiful. I mean, you see this you see the scene right here. I mean that's not bad. I feel like today's gonna be a good day. So let's get it started. Well, I don't wanna jinx it, baby. This trail closed because there's an active fire. This is where I am and it has this closed off. That's where the X's are. That's a bit disappointing. Okay, I just talked to some locals and they said there was a fire yesterday. It uh, simmered down. So they said, take it at your own risk and I'm gonna take it at my own risk. One thing that I was not expecting was how hot, well, it's not that hot, but it's 60 degrees. It's not really hoodie and jeans, hiking weather. I was not expecting to go this much more north and it'd be like 30 degrees warmer, weird. I guess my question would be, how did these rocks even form? I'm not a science person. That's something for my brother to figure out. <laughs> there has to be ways to explore around. I see this over here and I see that over there. Let's climb some rocks. Let's see if we can. All right, we've gotten to this part. Now, just gotta keep going. There's not much chance of me getting up this thing, so let's head over back toward the Cathedral Rock. That's what I just climbed to get up here. So the two locals before, actually, I just ran into, they said that there's a tower that you can go to that overlooks all of Black Woods. And you can also see the back of Mount Rushmore from it. They said it's like 1.3 miles. I'll have enough time to go check it out. Don't leave me
As you guys can see, the snow has not melted yet because the rocks, I guess, are shading it. Well, actually, that makes sense. It does feel weird that it goes from like hot and no snow to like a little bit chilly in like a matter of seconds. I've been walking for about 30 minutes, I think, and uh, I just passed by two people. I asked them, is the tower as far as it looks? Because I could see it in the distance, kind of. If you guys can see like the rock in between those trees, that's where it is. The trees are covering it. I saw it earlier, but anyways, they said the hike's worth it. It's about a mile and a half more. I should have brought water. I don't know why I didn't. I ran out of water and I didn't think to buy more bottles at the store. So I kind of screwed myself by the time I got out here. They said that you can see the fire from the tower actually. You guys can see it, it's right right there. I'm gonna push on because I think it's worth it. I only have to do Mount Rushmore. And then later, I'm gonna treat myself to some Olive Garden because I want my pasta. <laughs> So we've pretty much gotten to the top of the peak and now all that's left to see is the tower and then a long journey back. I spoke too soon. So you can see Mount Rushmore from here. I think it's that. It's the only one really shaped like that. But I mean, this view is insane. I'll do a little 360 for you guys. And like I said before, people were saying that you can see the fire from here, and clearly you can. This is kind of scary. That was creepy as shit. What the f okay. Back into the creepy hallway. That's me doing this three or four mile hike, I think. I don't know. It was something like that because it took me a while. This is known as the most beautiful, best hike in South Dakota. At least that's what I heard. It does seem like it. <laughs> There's another chipmunk over there. <laughs> They're so cute. Backside of Mount Rushmore, where we're heading next. And then I will get my pasta. I didn't even know South Dakota had mountains like this. Comment down below if you thought so too. I hope you guys enjoyed this hike. This was absolutely beautiful. These, this scenery is insane. Not much else to say, but yeah, let's go. area that's actually cool if they have concerts down by Mount Rushmore I might need to go to one let's see if I can find Michigan in this sea of flags I didn't even know Michigan had a flag but I guess we're gonna find that out I did know that that was our flag I've seen that before okay well that's gonna finish the adventures for the day pretty good way to end it. I've never been here before. First time South Dakota, as you guys know, this is my 36th state. 
And you know what's even cooler? Now I get my pasta. Time to go. <laughs> I had to get more water bottles. I had a blast today. I can't believe I actually saw Mount Rushmore in person. That was really cool. Like, you see it in the in your school books and the movies and TV shows. And then when you actually see it in person, it's just, it feels like a picture. Like, it does not feel real. It's insane. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. Custer State Park, I was not expecting to go on that hike. It was a very, very long hike. <laughs> But it was worth it. It was 100% worth it. Uh, one of the locals said that it was actually the highest peak if you go east until Switzerland. Which, I mean, I guess that makes sense because you only have to deal with, what, Minnesota, Michigan, Maine, like, uh, New York. It's not that not that much, but it was a 7,500-foot elevation. So that's a lot, especially by foot. That's a lot. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed, wake up early tomorrow, get the day started as usual, and I will see you guys tomorrow. tomorrow.